yesterday we had finished about almost all the gross part of medulla oblongata but one thing where we have gone for the water post inferior surface you have seen uh, like this so you will be having this is what is said to be as This will be the work Kenya fourth ventricle. So this is what yesterday we had. This is what it should be. But my mistake yesterday I might have been put This might be the area of Canada and this might be the water Grasalis, which is almost all wrong. That has gone with a slip of tongue. Please make it a correction. So, Grasalis swelling, it will be there. It will be there. At the water post, through the period surface of posterone. Inferior surface of that of the medulla oblongata and lateral to the work of that of the gracilis is the work of cunatus. So, gracilis and cunatus they are separated by means of the postvolatile tissue. That is what we can remember. And the gracilis of one is separated from the work of another. Posterior median tissue. That's what you have to make a correction where yesterday there is a little bit uh, by a slip of hand. I might have been taught to natus medially to the gracilis. Gracilis is lateral to the cunatus, which is wrong. That has to be read as gracilis is medially and the lateral is With this, that yesterday's part has been finished. Now we have to go to the water internals. Yesterday, we have already talked about the internal, how it will be, into a four stage. Now those four stages, in all four, you will be having a what a nucleus you will be having a neuronal geographic distributions in those small segments then apart from that you will be having a what fasciculus or the tracts at the what all four levels now those Neuronal geographic distribution along with the water tracts and the water nucleus. They are distributed at one point smaller and another point the same might be a water length there or occupancy of that 
neuronal geographic distribution or neural distribution it will be going to become much more as the region goes now let us we come to the what first where you will be going to get at the water that is the ts at ts at the lower part of medulla oblongata now what are the very cancer and things that you will be going to get or rather yesterday you have talked at that level neuronal geographic distributions as, as well as the what nucleus that will be there only and you will be going to refer the what to that of the you can see figures yesterday i had told in the what great anatomy 36th or 35th edition so there you have got the four types of diagrams so in continuation with the what yesterday talk now keeping in mind all those four level schematic or pictureized figures in the mind we have to go to the what what are the you can say connections connections at the lower border of the water that is the medulla oblongata in that first posterior fasciculus posterior fasciculus or a plaque or a fibers then anterior fasciculus or a tract or the fibers then you have got the lateral fasciculus tract or the fibers now these fibers they are situated at that level at the lower border of the medulla oblongata and connecting to the what other subdivisions and the parts of the what brains then you will be going to have further corticospinal tract spinal tract ventromedial fasciculus ventromedial fasciculus or a tract then decussion of the pyramids spinal tract then antro anterior inter segmental tract nucleus of aggressor is 
will be there at the water. Posto in superior surface of the water medulla oblongata at the lower part of that of the you can say tinea of the fourth ventricle close to the end. Posterior medium fissure there. Then you have got the nucleus of funatus. This will be the what another swelling which will be there separating from the water gracilis. By means of the water that of the postural lateral fissure which will be there lateral to the water gracilis in the postural superior surface of that of the medulla oblongata at its lower part of the water tinea of the fourth ventricle. Then you will be having a fifth cranial nerve nucleus and its fibers, especially here. That is what is called the trigeminal nerve. Tenth is the vagus nerve. The eleventh is the accessory nerve. No. So these are the things what we will be going to get at this point. Now these are the what connections available along with the water nucleus and they now these fibers and retracts they will be reaching to the water other small divisions of the water part of the water part of the water that of the other regions of the water mainly a water that of uh, part of the water hindbrain, part of the water subdivisions of the water that of the midbrain and even the various parts of the water that of the teleencephalon and as well as the water subdivisions of the water and the smallest part of those subdivisions of the diencephalon where they will be reach. This will be at this level. Now second connections connections from the TSO, TSO, the water that of the TS at the depreciation, depreciation of medulla oblongata nerve in this part, whatever all the connections will be there and as well as the parts are there divisions which you will be going to get see those all schematic or otherwise TS what those you can say figures will be going to indicate this will be there at 7.61 what you will be going to get into that where that thing will be there so you have to now this will be there exactly at the water 7.61 figures or the water in the water plays anatomy that is what is said to be as a either the 35th or 36th editions TS these are the schematic pictures in that you will be going to have the water nucleus also and as well as the water tracts also tracts means they are the rather they are called as the fasciculus fasciculus are termed as a water tracts, fibers. Now these fibers are nothing but gives the way for the water joining to the water other parts. From this level what you can say tracts from the nucleus they begin and join to the water. Other portions of the water that of the medulla oblongata and as well as the water palms which is the part of that of the you can say handbrain and even it goes through the water cellulum and the division of the cellulum and then it may go to the water that of the where you can say uh, midbrain parts of the midbrain and the subdivision and even the same thing for the water other part of the water that of the proencephalon and the subdivisions of those that is the teleencephalon and the diencephalon portions now there you will be going to have a nucleus of gracilis It is a continuation of the water earlier section, PS. Then we want the nucleus of the finances. This will be also the continuation of the water that of the lower part. 
then you will be having a internal accurate accurate fibers or the tracks then the medium laminiscus medium laminiscus niscus and the fibers arising from that then you will be having about uh, accessory accessory cunatus fibers and the nucleus posterior the external arcuate fibers and the water nucleus cuneo cuneo cellular tracks then shift radial nerve nucleus and the what tracks that is the trigeminal then further olivary olivary tracts and the nucleus medial olivary cellular tracts this may be the word even medial olivary accessory tract the same then twelfth cranial nerve nucleus and the fibers tenth cranial nerve nucleus and the fibers dorsal vagal nucleus and the fibers cranial nerve nucleus and the fibers nucleus of solitaris then reticular formation Pectospinal tract, facial nerve nucleus and fibers. That is the seven. Then eighth cranial nerve. vestibulo cochlear
न्यूक्लियस एंड द पार्टिकल्स दैट द एट क्रिएट करना देन यू हैव टू बी हैविंग द इंफीरियर सेरिमिलर क्लास इन इंफीरियर सेरिमिलर पढ़ेंगे Now this will be the thing where yesterday I had shown this one. You will be having this is the area of the fourth ventricle. This will be the upper part. Then you will be having this is the gracilis. This is the cuneus. This is the tinea of fourth ventricle. Now at this point you will be having. This one on either side. Three. So this will be the what? Inferior cerebellar parietal. Parietal. So it will be there like that. There will be a one more cerebellar parietal. There will be a one more cerebellar parietal. They will be there. So lateral part of that of the posterior inferior posterior superior surface will be having this thing. This will be the one inferior cerebellar parietal. So from the cerebellum, three you can say arms are running. One up, two, one middle, one down. Down part from the cerebellum it goes and captures the that of the medulla oblongata lateral surface. So that is the inferior cerebellum part. So there. So these are all the things what you will be going to get connections available at TS of the what depreciation of the mat medulla oblongata and that is nothing but the, these are the few and nucleuses are also distributed that will be there in the what figure number seven point six one in thirty fifth of the sixth edition of the page now so that will be the thing. Now you will be going to get into the another. Now that is another is what the third point. Now the third thing when you see that will be there exactly. I will be taking this thing out. Now I will be writing with this. That is the third connections available at. TS of the what TS atom, TS atom, the quadral part of, or rather the cranial part of fourth ventricle of the means TS and quadral or cranial part of fourth ventricle of ventricle of cranial. Now here. First connection, you will be having the spino olivary, spino olivary tract and the nucleus. Then you will be having the inferior olivary. Nucleus and the tract. Then you will be having the central tegmental tract. Central tegmental tegmental tract. Then the medial ascending. Medial.
Subdivisions and the small part of the water, mid brain and even to the what fore brain and their division and their subdivisions. So this is the thing because it will be there as well. Okay. Now we will be going to get the what another part. Now that part is called as definitely it will be the what fourth one. Now that fourth one you will be going to get into the view. into the view now that thing when you come across you will be going to get into the water field that is the fourth this will be the water third this is what the connections and the internal internal of Now these things will be going to get cross to the what opposite side, opposite side fibers. Fibers or tracks or passages. That's it. So like these are the you can say where we will be going to get into the things. Now these are the what the connections. So like this way. You will be going to get the connections, which will be there all the way for that. Now, these all connections with the water nucleus, which are present in the water medulla oblongata. Now, once we have understood these connections, which are there, as well as these connections, they are definitely you will be going to get. When you will be dealing about the internal of medulla oblongata, which will be available at the TS of figure of the schematic, even under the water that at the microscopic view you can get. But the internal, when you are taken, you have to take the water section at these levels and then observe minutely those are the neuronal distribution, geographic distributions. At those levels, which will be available in a diagrammatic pattern, first 7.60 in 35th, 36th edition of brain. Another connections 
at the level of the board that that of the internal in that 7.6 month at the level of the depreciation of the middle of the data in the 35th 36th edition of the and you will be having the board this will be available at the water in the water schematic diagram where it will be going to get available at the especially in the model 7.63 
vestibular and the water that of the cochlear part that this the or small division at this point third it will be going to come into the view and even seventh and even fifth very small part it will be going to come into the view so there when it occurs these cranial nerves are also become unable to perform its functions so those are called as a what medullary or rather medullary syndrome or what we say as these cranial nerves will be not going to perform its normal functions such as vagus nerve will be traveling all throughout so it will be having a cause hypoglossal accessory glossopharyngeal the tongue inferior surface hypoglossal glossopharyngeal line pharynx and the what tongue both involved so there it may be the unable so these are the things that what you will be going to get that is called as a medullary syndrome what you will be going to get but the main cranial nerve arising from these are the what to mind the 10th 11th 12th and very small portions that what 5th 7th and 8th so these are the things but the majorly is the 9th 10th and 12th with this you will be having a almost all completion of that of the medulla oblongata thank you for hearing a talk on medulla oblongata